Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. This is the Getting to Blinky 5.0 series, which is a continuation of past Getting to Blinkies. Getting to Blinky means we're trying to get you so you have a piece of hardware in your hand that's blinking an LED. And that is basically the best way to say that you've learned the process of you know, moving through all of the steps of a, a PCB layout, getting to an actual piece of hardware that's blinking an LED. This is similar to having a development board in your hand. Often if you're just writing firmware for a development board that you've ordered, the first thing you do is blink an LED. Much like in software, the first thing you do is usually do hello world. So this is effectively the hello world of making your first PCB. And we're going to be doing it in KiCad, which is a piece of open source software. So let's take a quick look at what this site looks like. So this is where you go and download it. It is multi-platform. That is one of the best things about it. It's uh, it's a, on many, many different things. I'm currently running on Windows, but I also have another machine where I've run, in, run in on Ubuntu. Uh, I've also run it on Mac before. I've not tried the other distributions. But uh, at the very least, it's all open source. You can always compile it yourself. That is, of course, an expert mode if you want to do that sort of thing. So the things we're going to be doing here, we're going to go through all of the different steps. We're going to be, like I said, making a simple blinking LED circuit using a 555 timer, or 7555, actually. We'll talk about that in future videos. But the, the steps are to make a schematic, also to make custom symbols for that schematic, then to associate the schematic symbols and all of the, uh, the schematic connections with the actual physical components. And that'll be uh, with uh, tying them to the footprints. We'll also be making a custom footprint, doing a layout, and then outputting the files and sending it off to manufacturer. Now, I will say this is a two-hour course, effectively. And there are faster things out there. I'll tell you about that in a second. But it's two hours because we want to show you every single step. By the end of this video, by the end of this video series, rather, you should be able to make a custom board of your own making and uh, without needing to do many other steps within KiCad. And that's a pretty important thing here. Now, if you want a faster version of this, you can do the, uh, another course that we have called Shine On You Crazy KiCad. That is a much, much faster course. It's about a 20 minute speed run through KiCad where we're just basically building a tiny little circuit board that has a header, it has an LED and a resistor. And basically, we're just making the simplest board we can. And then in uh, other videos, we build it up. And then we also plug it into Raspberry Pi and blink the, the LED with Python. So if that's more your style, that's another great way to get started. Like I said, getting to Blinky is going to be all the steps you need to actually go and make a board. So let's go back into the uh, loader here and get started. So once you've installed all this stuff, it does like I said, it does take a little while to uh, get things installed. But once it's there, it's there for good. Uh, and the first thing you'll be greeted with is this loader screen. <coughs> this is a previous project I had open. So the first thing we're going to do is say new project. You could also do from template, but that's going to be like if you wanted to make an Arduino shield or similar. We're just going to be making our own thing here. And so we're going to. This is the the directory we're currently in. I'm going to go up a couple directories, and this is where I'm going to be making a new one. Now, what I'm going to do is um, call this getting to Blinky 5.0. And then what I'm going to say is I'm going to actually create a new directory for the project. If you already have a directory where you want to create a, a new PCB project in, say you have a, a Git repository you're creating something in, you just uncheck this box and do that. But we're going to be creating a brand new, uh, a brand new uh, folder there as well. So we have two things that come up automatically. First is a schematic. That's going to be launched here with the program called EE Schema. And so this is what this looks like. It's all blank and ready to go here. Similarly, we have a, where are we here? Similarly, we have a uh, PCB layout editor, which is called PCB New. And we're going to open that up as well. Now, this is a dark theme that you can modify. Hello, where is it? Hello, there it is. OK. I saw you. There we go. OK. Uh, this is a dark theme. So this is just a traditional you know, CAD kind of style here. There is a frame here. You may or may not be able to see it's in red. And basically, we're going to draw everything within this frame. And uh, yeah, we'll get to that in future, future videos here. So we've uh, at least started a project. And what we're going to be doing next is we're going to go and we're going to uh, start a schematic, basically. So we'll look at a circuit. We have a circuit that we're just going to borrow from online. We're going to go and copy that into our uh, into our schematic, and then we'll start from there. If you you might be wondering, well, why wouldn't we make custom electronics now? And that's because, well, this is hard enough on its own. You know, we're just going to go and we're trying to learn the mechanics of the program first, and not necessarily what electronics are and how to do them. This is all a course on how to do PCB layout itself in KiCad specifically. And if you wanted to learn more about how to actually do custom electronics, you might want to check out contextualelectronics.com. That is the course that I run online. And there's a bunch of courses on how to actually go and design your own circuit and uh, learn all of the inner workings of how electronics work. So we really focus on pairing 
theory and practice as you need them instead of starting at calculus and math and, and starting there. We want to actually have you hands-on as fast as possible, and that's the thing that we really try and focus on. So if you want to check that out, that's contextualelectronics.com. If you have questions about this video or future videos, there's the forum, which is forum.contextualelectronics.com. And finally, you can always leave a YouTube comment as well. Uh, that's where all of this stuff will be hosted. All of this is free. All of this, uh, the Getting to Blinky and Shine on You Crazy Kai Cat is all free content. And like I said, there's a paid course as well to learn a bit, little bit more about electronics. If you have any questions, ask down below. We'll see you in future videos of Getting to Blinky.